Hey everybody, Rookie to Handicapping Thoroughbred Racing on Friday afternoon, January the 27th, and this is my Equibase Winter Circle East Coast Racing Report. Let's go to the Big A Aqueduct Race Course, Ozone Park, New York, for Race 8 on their card. 3.46 p.m. Eastern Post Time. It's a six furlong sprint on Aqueduct's winterized inner dirt track. Three-year-olds race for an optional claiming prize of some $51,000. Contenders number five, Money in Motion, number two, Personal Assistant, number six, Dangerous Lad, and number one, Dan's Gold. Going to go with a 12 to 1 bomb on top in this one, folks. Number five, Money in Motion, takes a slight class drop, has hit the board in each of his last five, winning his, winning his third race back, including back-to-back -back power run board hits in his last two starts. Number two, personal assistant, the morning line favorite, the overall speed leader in this optional claiming field today. Sprinting at six furlongs on the dirt, has hit the board in power run fashion in two of his four career starts to date, including a power run win to break his maiden in his second race back. Jockey David Cohen was in his irons for that win, which produced a positive 270% return on investment in the process. Cohen is back today here at the Big A for his second ride gunning for back-to-back -back circle trips. Race 8 summary number 5, Money in Motion. Tops my contenders list today here at Aqueduct, which also includes number 2, Personal Assistant, number 6, Dangerous Lad, and number 1, Dan's Gold, 5261 in the 8th from the Big A. Let's go to Gulfstream Park in Hallandale Beach, Florida next for Race 4. Four on their card, 2.03 p.m. Eastern Post Time. So mile test on the dirt track. Four-year-olds and up race for an optional claiming prize is $64,000. Contenders number two, Boys at Tosca Nova. Number three, Groupie Doll. Number six, Our Dark Knight. And number five, Flatter This. Number two, Boys at Tosca Nova takes a class drop. Shares the pace profile honors in this field with... Number three, Groupie Doll has hit the board in each of his last five outings, winning three times in this recent streak of racing consistency, including back-to-back -back power run wins in his last two starts. Jockey Javier Castellano and trainer Richard Dutrow Jr. sent him to the post today. They fit the board with 60% of their entry saddle as the team to date. Number three, Groupie Doll has hit the board in four of his last five adventures, including a pair of power run wins being embedded in this re recent streak of racing consistency. Race four summary number two, Boys at Toscanova, tops my contenders list of today, which also includes number three, Groupie Doll, number six, Our Dark Knight, and number five, Flatter This, two, three, six, five in the fourth from Gulfstream. Bonus long shots, Beulah Park, race three, the four to one shot, number four, Pheasant Lane, Takes a seven-level Trackmaster class drop. It's the speed leader in this maiden field, sprinting at six furlongs on the dirt. Charlestown, race four, number one old Rocky Top, a four-to-one shot. Drops in class by six Trackmaster units. Is the speed leader in this field, sprinting at or about tonight's distance of six and one-half furlongs on the dirt. So handicapping from both Aqueduct and Gulfstream Park on a Friday, Rick Needham for the Equivase Winter Circle reminding you as always to please bet with your head, not over it.